Hey YouTube, welcome back to another. Today we're going to be learning how to deploy your own Minecraft server simply, easily, and most importantly, it's going to be cost efficient. Now, this isn't like where uh, those sites that require you to pay 50 bucks a month or Minecraft Realms or whatever, just uh, just to host, you know, a little Minecraft server that can hold four people on it. This is uh, the real deal. This is how the big servers host Minecraft uh, Minecraft servers. But most importantly, actually, I guess second most importantly, it's going to be scalable, meaning, you know, it could start off as 20 users, but you could scale it up to 100 users. Just just so like later on, you know, if you have 100 friends, 100 friends could play. Or if you're, you know, if you know, you, you want to actually start profitizing off of it and you want, you know, 1,200 pe people to uh, be able to play on the server at once, you can do that by scaling up the server I'm about to show you how to do here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, first off, you're going to want to sign up for a site called Vulture. You don't have to use Vulture, but for this tutorial, it's going to be necessary just because I'm, uh, I'm phasing through the one-click app developments they, uh, they have pre-installed. But anyways, as you can see here, Vulture is just, you know, another cloud provider. They, uh, they host servers for you or whatnot. And yeah. I mean, they're my favorite personally just because their parent company is, on, is, a, uh, is an ISP, meaning that they're, they're uh, acquaintance with fast speeds and stuff like that. But anyways, so you're just going to want to click the sign up button here. I'll have a link in the description that will give you uh, $50 free just to test out the platform. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it for there. So once you sign up using that link in the description, what you're going to want to do is go up to, uh, is go here. Instead, you'll be on the products page, but for uh, for my privacy's sake, I'm starting out on the support page. And then you're going to want to click the plus button here. It's on every single one of these pages you see on the left. Click that plus, deploy new server. And what you're going to want to do here is leave it on the cloud compute selection. Now, it's important to note that for the, uh, the server location setting, you're going to want to choose the server that's closest to you. So in my case, I'm going to choose the New York, New Jersey location just because it's closest to me and it'll have the fastest speeds and yeah so or if you don't want to choose the uh, closest location to you choose the closest location to the uh, the majority of your users or just estimate that if you don't know that yet but anyways let's go ahead and move on so for server type you're going to want to click the application tab and then you're going to want to find the minecraft uh, selection click that and you're done with that now it's time for the pricing so I recommend that you start out with a $10 per month server just because you get that extra RAM that can host, you know, a few more users than the uh, the one gig of RAM. And uh, you also get more bandwidth and get another terabyte of bandwidth. But if it's just going to be yourself playing, the $5 a month per option is definitely going to, uh, it's going to work out for yourself just if it's you. But if you're going to have, you know, three, four, maybe 10 players playing, you're going to want to make that $10 per month the minimum. Uh, server option and you know obviously uh, if you have a hundred users you're gonna want to move up towards the more expensive servers and it, and what's nice about vulture is is that you can rescale the uh, the server later on if you have to say you started out with two users but then you moved up to 10 users you can easily just go into the uh, the vulture control panel go to the server and then uh, you know you could scale up to the twenty dollar per month server instead of using the ten dollar per month server but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to stick with the $5 per month server just because I'm going to be the only one testing it. All right, moving down. Uh, you could skip all these additional features here. Uh, just if, if you chose a, a data center that has uh, block storage compatible, go ahead and check that just because I don't think you can re-enable that later. And let's keep moving on. Blah, blah, blah. And for server host name, just you put Minecraft in there, you know, whatever and then go ahead and click deploy now and uh, and now we wait for it to deploy see you back in a minute all right so as i said uh, at the beginning of the video i wasn't going to start in the products page just to uh to give myself some privacy but you know i didn't know that it redirected you here after you deploy so just ignore what i said at the beginning anyways as you can see our minecraft vps has deployed what you're going to want to do now is go ahead and click that uh, your name you put for your server. You'll see a menu that looks like this now. You'll have your uh, your current charges, the current CPU usage, and uh, bandwidth. Uh, you'll probably see these 
dashes if the uh, if the server's still finishing installing or whatever it says here. Go back to overview, and for now, as a minimalist minimalistic uh, Minecraft server, it is completely playable, and you can actually test it now. Uh, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and launch my Minecraft launcher. Go play off loops. Didn't mean to click that. Uh, let's see what happens here. Hopefully that works. Blah blah blah. And um, yep. So you'll see the server addresses right here. You can go ahead and pre-copy that. Go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. All right. Go to multiplayer. Add server. Go ahead and put a server name for your server here. I'm just gonna call mine my server. Go ahead and paste the server address we had. And as you can see, we can connect to our server now. Zero out of 20 players. Go ahead and connect to that. And as you can see here, we are in our very own Minecraft server. Your friends can actually join you, and, uh, and yeah, it's completely playable. It saves everything, and yeah. So <clears throat> it's important to note that you can uh, continue configuring the Minecraft server, but you're going to have to connect to the, the server over SSH, which is, uh, I'm going to save that for another video just because I want that to be very detailed, and uh, I want it to be the video entirely dedicated to that. But uh, yeah, see here, everything works fine. You can break stuff. And I'm not sure if I missed anything. I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I appreciate you for watching the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, leave a thumbs down. And uh, if you feel like I could improve on any of my, uh, my speech or anything, Quick editor's note, so uh, so you may have noticed that the game sort of crapped itself at the end there, and yeah, I'm not sure what happened, I just wanted to say, leave a comment if you, uh, if you have any advice for me, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, leave a thumbs down if you didn't like it. It's basically it, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you somehow want more content. See you next time.